guys are back. It sounds like someone's broke their whistle. Are you whistling? I thought, I thought you were strangling a sparrow or something. Not in the way. Just remember, you volunteered this. Ow! Free haircut. I did not say it was free. Well, no, but I think I got what I paid for. Done. Yeah, get it done. Yeah, it's done, yeah. How about the uh, uh, cedar? Yeah, it's done all. Did you, did you manage to get a cherry picker in there? No, we've we got that. We've hey. done everything that was on the bit like what you want. Was it? A bit of cherry picker? Yeah, he's done a uh, few steps. Oh, okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah, hard work. Yeah, I would imagine it would. That would have made it a lot easier, but parking would be an issue, wouldn't it? Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well done. Yeah. Mr. Cook. Yeah. Yeah, he's no. He did say, he did say, Yeah. Well, we've known the cooks for um, a long time. He said that used to come down here. Used to go down the bullpen and get pissed. Yeah. He, he said, um, not the word send him an invoice, he sent him a uh, check in the mail or something, that's what he said. Well, we've got, got to send him an invoice. Huh? Yeah. So was it you working here whistling her in? Yeah, it was you. It was, he's doing a good... Okay. Fair enough. All right, fair enough. Here we go again. joy on her face first thing in the morning when we come down the yard and she bolts down there and round the corner just hoping she's gonna ambush a rabbit it's uh <laughs> oh well she just loves it right come on you breakfast time ready for this mmm breakfast come on you come in Alright, 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 just come in. There you go. You've got to get it in your gob though. Right, well, we're back down in the reserve. Oh, well. Got a duck on camera perhaps. We're going to have a look, see what, if any, activity there was last night. What treasures are you going to hold for me? I have actually ordered myself. A couple of more of these, um, slightly more modern. Uh, I think they're one's 4K and one's 20, 20 megapixels. Um, so I think what we'll probably end up doing is the two 12 megapixel cameras that we've got at the farm will probably will scatter around as wildlife cameras, and then the new better ones will do will take on security at the farm. Come on, you lot! Come on, you can come back in in ten minutes. Go on. Go on. Out. Out. Was you comfortable? I'm sorry. Go on. Out. Please. Thank you. Go on.
You really don't want to be making a nest in there, Mr. Bumblebee. Come on, I suggest you buzz off. Oh, hello. Well, as much as I don't want to be feeding bells now, the grass should be growing. This is the reason we kept a few. Just in case. I thought I'd make you jump. Well, that's good enough for now. They've got food, water, shelter out the sun if they need it. Not that there's that much sun for a minute. And they can roam around. They're as happy as they can be for the time being. Just need some rain to freshen that grass up. So, right. That's my farm duties finished for a few hours. I'm off now to a place called Cow Hill. Uh, which is about nine miles that way to deliver a uh, three metre little wood chip for someone's chickens and then I'm off to the other farm to pick up a load of tipped well from what it sounds like marijuana um, based rubbish tipped in the gateway so there you are. perhaps I'll take a box of matches First job, and loads of wood chips and chickens. Well, although I've come over to find out what's been tipped in one of our gateways, I've gone past a couple of our pieces of wheat, so we're just going to have a quick look at that and see. Actually, that's not looking too bad at all in there. So, I put the drone up, but I don't trust the battery, so not today. That <laughs> capping, that is hard. The thing is, we had so much wet to begin with, it sealed the surface. And now the only way air is getting in is actually the sun is doing its job, cracking it up, but that is still really hard. But the tram lines are filling in. There's Mr. Man with his dog that he can't control. Again. Come on. Well, 
not, they've definitely left me a present. And chucked it. Where it's difficult for me to get it out again, and it stinks. I'll put some gloves on. Well, I can smell the weed from here. I ain't lucky enough to find an address in a box, am I? That would just be oh, stinking stuff. <sighs> right. Okay. Can't leave it here. Thing is, if you leave something here, people see a pile of crap in the field and you leave it there. Crap attracts more crap. And all I'll do is someone else goes, oh, they don't care. I'll chuck some more over there. So you kind of have to shift it. So it's called, what? Oh, pouch. Wherever that bloody is. The thing is, these boxes are full of screws as well. That out there, in our tires, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks a bunch. On the upside, apart from the obvious bare patches, the wheat out here looks reasonably happy. Although I'm pretty sure inch of rain on this lot make a lot of difference too. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's what I thought. Someone's been in there as well. This gate has definitely been opened. If you look at the grass, you can see where it's been rolled back. So, is there more in there? Oh, so this is... Um, this is actually called Pullins Wood. This little field, I think it's only about five acres. Was it five acres? The number five's in my head because the field has five corners. Which meant it was always a bit of a pain to do anything with it. So uh, it was decided to go for the Woodland Grant Scheme. That was, what, 20, 25 years ago we planted this. So actually, Martin, you will know from the program, he planted most of this. I'm not quite sure what that's doing there. Does someone sleep rough there? Another pillow. Made themselves at home. It looks like we've lost a lot of our ash. I reckon we're going to be coming in here, maybe even this year, and clear felling a lot of this. Get it all cleaned out now if we can, if we've got time, and then um, maybe do some replanting in the autumn.
you know, I think about five or six cars have been passed here, including two people that I recognise as local. Now, whether or not they recognise my Land Rover know it was me, not one person stopped to challenge me to find out what I was doing parked in this gateway. And that's part of the problem. People are just happy to turn a blind eye. It's not my field, it's not my problem. Oh dear, what a pity, never mind. I didn't see anything, keep going. And that's why this sort of stuff is prevalent, because nobody gives a damn. I'll get off my soapbox. You know that new trail camera I've ordered? I may have to retask it for a while. Or maybe, well, I've got a spare one. Maybe I, maybe I could put the little 8 megapixel one down there. Maybe we'll do that. Here working, trying to 